You wanna know the most annoying sound in the world? This sound. Dang it. I literally just took my seatbelt off and decided to move to parking spots. And now my car's screaming at me like I committed a felony. But what if I told you, you can turn that off? And then you can also unlock a whole secret menu of hidden features in your car with this tiny little OBD2 device. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to DIY Reed. My name is Reed. And then today we'll be diving into a gadget I didn't even know I needed until I had it. The Carista Evo. This is a Bluetooth OBD2 diagnostic tool, but trust me, it's way more than that. It's like having developer access to your car's software without it being too technical to understand. And yeah, Carista was kind enough to give me a 25% off coupon code for you guys. Links in the description. Plus, I'll give you a link so that way you can make sure that your vehicle works with this. You wanna make sure you do that? Don't skip that part. So you're probably asking, okay, Reed, what kind of stuff did this unlock? What does this thing actually do? Let me hit you with a quick list of my favorites. Here are some of the stuff that I've changed on my 2024 Toyota Tundra. I've disabled the seatbelt chime. Goodbye, beep. I turned off the fake noise. What's the fake noise? It's the fake engine noise. Because why? Why do you have this? It's not a V8, it's a V6. There's no need for this. And then I made it so that you can roll all the windows down from the key fob. I changed the auto signal from three blinks to five blinks because five is more than three. I set up the mirrors so that they unfold with the ignition being pressed, not when I unlock it, because that's super annoying. And that's just the beginning. All right, enough talk in the studio. Let's plug this thing into the OBD port and open up the Krista app. I wanna walk you through what it looks like in the app, how easy it is to change all these settings and also go through all the diagnostics. So let's go ahead and get out to my truck. Every modern vehicle since 1980s has an OBD2 port for the most part. Uh, if it's fuel injected, it's most likely it's going to have it. Um, to find that is usually underneath the dash, below the driver's steering wheel, and all that. So if you just look, at, sit in the seat, look at your left leg, go down below, and it should be right there, kind of where the the hood prop is. So one thing to note is it could be a white connector, it could be a black connector. And there might be even a trap door kind of where it's hiding behind. So just kind of look underneath there with a flashlight and you should be able to find it. So in the app, once you have it connected, the vehicle need, the ignition needs to be on. However, you don't have to have the vehicle itself on or running. I like to have it running if I'm making a lot of adjustments, that way I don't run the battery down. So go ahead and connect and it'll connect to the device itself. It takes just a little bit of time. So don't, I mean, don't get frustrated with it. So once you're in, it's gonna to connect to your, your vehicle itself. And then they have four different menus here. And you got customize, diagnose, service, and live data. And so these four options are great. The customize is gonna to to unlock hidden features, enable, disable, all that type of stuff. Uh, the diagnose menu is gonna allow you to check for fault codes. Service, it gives you a bunch of info. I'm not gonna go into service one because it gives you all like the, it's like the con configuration IDs of all the components that you have. Uh, the ABS, your your uh, AC or the HVAC, uh, your, all the computers and all of that. Um, live data, we'll give you live data. We'll go into that in a second, but it'll give you the wheel speed and all that type of stuff, which is kind of cool. So go into customize and it's going to go ahead and load up, uh, grab all the information that, they, that it can change. Um, it takes a little bit of time on my Tundra because there's a lot of stuff you can change, but on my Ford Explorer, there isn't, all, I mean, there's some stuff to change, but it's not as much. And it took, it was just went in with the Ford Explorer, just went right in. But it'll take a little bit of time to get in some of these menus. I know like the live data and all that, or the service side, it took a long time to read all the computers. So now that you're in, the nice thing is they've updated this since the last time I used it. I used their other module, but now I'm in the new one. They have the most popular, which is kind of cool. It's the most popular everyone uses for your vehicle. Lane change, uh, turn signal, the auto flasher, I have it at five flashes. So you can go through three flashes, four flashes, six, you can have it off. Um, seat belt, right now I have it enabled for my driver's side. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And then it's gonna give you like, hey, there's some might be some safety implications here and legality here. Uh, just so you know, you turn this off, that's on you. Um, I turn it off because that way if I'm moving around the neighborhood or whatever and I don't, 
I don't need it uh, or I don't use it or moving into a different spot or backing up to a trailer or what. Just did that. And you can do it per seat, which is really nice. So I can have it off of mine and off of my wife's because she's going to be moving around when we're traveling, trying to help the kids out. But the kids, mm -mm, they're going to have theirs on at all times. But you're able to disable it that way. Um, you can do the folding mirrors with the ignition. I changed it to the ignition instead of when I unlock the vehicle. Last thing I want to do is the reason why I pull them in is for more space when I'm opening my door. If I unlock the vehicle and the mirrors fold out, I got more and less space. Um, you can go through all the different dings and warnings. You can turn those on and off. You can change the pitch of the or the, the tone, make it louder or softer. Um, you got uh, the sensors, the parking sensors, so you can change how what the beep sound is and also if it's a neutral or how what the distance is you can make the distance short so or long it's up to you you can cut you can basically customize this to what they have available here but a lot of stuff you can do uh windows uh like i i turned it so i can hold my unlock button on my remote and all the windows will roll down and my sunroof will open up which is really nice if it's a hot day you can be out uh and open up all the windows before you get in and let the heat kind of come out before you get into the vehicle. So when you click on Diagnos, uh, it'll scan all the ECU or all the computers and all that. So right now, as you can see, the basic OB2, zero faults, heating, air conditioning, ABS, tire pressure, instrument cluster, parking sensors, engine, all that. It's scanning all those things and seeing if there's any faults down to that versus like a regular, I don't want to say dumb scanner, but a regular like $20 scanner, you plug it in, it'll give you a fault code, and then you gotta go Google the fault code. And on here, you're gonna be like, okay, I know what this code is. It's in the engine code or a parking sensor code, that type of stuff. So it makes it quick and easy. So now we're in live data. So it allows you to get to the wheel speed data. So it'll give you the wheel speed of each of each wheel um, if you wanted to, so that we can see if there's an issue going on. HVAC live data, um, engine data. So it gives you information about the engine speed, load, all that, coolant temperature, transmission temperature, um, basic OB2 data, which pretty, pretty much provides you um, fuel bank trims, coolant temperature, load, engine RPM, vehicle speed itself, ignition timing, intake temperatures, you name it. It's got a lot of stuff here that you can use to diagnose your vehicle. Um, and that way, maybe you don't have to take it into the dealership to get it fixed. Uh, just remember, none of this is gonna void your warranty, which is really nice. You can disable stuff and turn things on and off, and the dealership can't do anything about it because it's not gonna void your warranty. So let's go ahead and get back in the studio and I will tell you what my final thoughts on this is. All right, real talk. I love to tinker. I love to play with things and make them work. So being able to plug this thing in and tweak settings in my vehicle without digging through complicated menus, that's a huge win for me. But here's where it gets even better. You're not locked to just one vehicle. A lot of tools out there, they tie it to the car's VIN, and then once it does that, you can't sell the device, or if you take the device out or whatever it is, now all the features that you just try to enable is no longer there. This, I've already hooked this thing up to multiple vehicles. I've hooked up to my wife's Explorer, my Tundra, my friend's vehicles. I helped my neighbors out with it, and I can plug it in, change settings, and unplug it and everything stays the same. Well, not the same, you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I forgot. It doesn't void your warranty. So you're not gonna have to worry about that. Even if you take your vehicle into the Toyota dealership or Ford dealership or whatever, the tech's there, they're not gonna be worried about it. There's no issues. I've taken my vehicle in to the Toyota dealership and they're gonna find out because the tech or whoever takes the, or the Porter takes it from the service drive into the service bay they're not using a seatbelt, come on, right? Well, the dinging noise is not there, and I know they noticed that because every single vehicle, at least every single vehicle that didn't disable it with this, makes that dinging noise. And I've taken it in several times and no one said anything. And lastly, this is a big deal. You get dealer level diagnostics right from your phone. This means live data, advanced codes, and real insights if something is even going wrong down their line. For me, that is a peace of mind worth it alone. If you found this video helpful, please leave me a like and feel free to ask any questions down in the comment section below. Now remember, I have a 25% coupon off on this. So if you're interested in buying, make sure you use that coupon code to save you some money. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more tech reviews, home automation, home and automotive how-to videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.